here's my copy of the book my in my iPad. I don't know if you can see it, but I've been reading it again last night. And I must say, uh, I've been absolutely uh, enamored with the book. First of all, it's a very easy read. It's not a laborious book that sort of puts you to sleep. Uh, it's written in a language and a style that, uh, you know, sort of bullet points and quickly uh, you can skim through it. Every chapter has lessons, uh, takeaways. Uh, I found it very, very engaging. Now, you might wonder why a business executive or a retired business executive should be interested in a book about politics and managing a union territory. Uh, let me be honest, I looked at this book as an example of CEO ship in action, leadership in action. And basically what Kiran is saying is whether you run a company or whether you run a union territory or a state or a country, there are some universal principles. Work for the people, uh, put them before you, be visible, uh, make sure that you have accountability, um, make sure that you are resilient, make sure that you're honest. There's some universal principles that Kiran articulates throughout her entire book, uh, you know, notwithstanding a key message, which is be humble. Humility, you know, sort of is a theme that goes through the whole book. Um, I'll be honest with you, the thing that bothered me the most reading the book was, here is somebody who's come from a region that she's, uh, you know, far away from Puducherry, comes to Puducherry, wants to do the right thing for the people at a time when that union territory needs help. Yet the political establishment gave her so much grief. 